Hello guys, Pixel here, and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and today we're going to be burning trees. No, not really. <laughs> um, what I really wanted to show you is TNT cannons. Booyah. Um, so here is my TNT cannon. Obviously though, um, it isn't automatic, like there's no redstone, because obviously there is no actual redstone dust, which is a pity. That is a big pity. So, yeah. Oh, so the next best thing is to basically... And there's also no pressure plates, as I forgot to mention. Um, so the next best thing is to light them by hand. But this still pretty works. Works pretty well. Not pretty works well. <laughs> um, and here's my TNT can. Um, I will destroy this and rebuild it from scratch to show you how you can exactly build this. By the way, this kind of part over here that doesn't this part over here and um, that's just like extra as in it's optional if you want to make it a bigger boom but it doesn't always work so yeah so i will be uh back and be showing you how to build this thing Boop. okay i'm back and um i am going to be building it now to show you how to make a tnt cannon um so the way you want to do this it doesn't really matter what building block you use um it doesn't have to be like uh what you call it not destroyed by red uh by tnt if that makes sense so bedrock or obsidian because there's going to be submerged in water which will prevent that ha from happening so you can basically build it from whatever block you so choose i'm going to decide to build it out of lapis lazuli now because i like lapis lazuli and it's 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 nice so right now I'm building the extended version like I was talking about earlier, but um, I will like show you the difference between the smaller and the bigger. But the bigger doesn't really make much of a difference. I don't. I may actually reduce the difference. I'm not even sure. Oh, um, so first you just want to do what I just did there. So uh, row of sixes, two on each side, double layer, and uh, one at the back, double layer, but not in the corners. Well, you can, but it doesn't really matter. So that's that. Um, just wait a second, I'm going to make the ground, wait, did I make it, yeah, I think I made it one higher, so it doesn't really, um, you can have it whatever height, but I'm just going to do this because it gets me better range, because I'm at a higher, um, what should I call it, this, like, higher altitude, fancy word there, um, from, for optimal hitting of this enemy pirate ship that well it's actually not a pirate ship because I've put a black flag but you get what I mean so yeah once you've done that you want to either use half slabs or normal bricks I don't really doesn't really matter I use half slabs because they're cool um and uh wait first I'll just block this part off because this the normal version over here and you want to put the half slab on the top layer or the bottom layer doesn't really matter well, preferably top layer, actually, on the this block. I can't really describe it, but you get what I mean, because you saw it. Um, then uh, you want to get some water out and put it in this first cube block space there. And um, here is where you control the, like, basically the range of the weapons. So you've got different ways of doing this. Um, you can either use half slabs which are that high and will give you kind of uh, a bit higher but a bit higher than 45 degrees so pretty good opt optimal for range distance whatever <laughs> but uh, there is something better that I find so you can either have that for more distance or if you want more height then you can go for a ladder like that or you could even go for a trap door which can go both ways except that's a bit low from what i've figured but um, in my opinion the best one is in fact the cake and if you're thinking of snow cover and carpet that doesn't work because it just gets washed off by the water so now that i've put a cake there which is actually slightly lower than the half slab i think i'm not sure if it isn't then that'd be funny but mm, let me just check oh they're actually exactly the same oh well 
I just found that cake was better and cake looks better and tastes better so I recommend you use cake because cake's really yummy. So now that you've done that you want to put some TNT in the top slots of these three spaces. Uh, once you've done that you want to it's best to go into out of split touch if you're in this. Um, it's best to go uh, wait this the block I'm highlighting right now and then this one so you want to do this the first TNT and then this second TNT and after that you want to light that TNT which and that TNT over here will be the one that gets fired over here um, so over here I've also got some diamond ore I don't know if you're able to get it because this is a pretty far away target as I have been previously practicing on but first let's get right to it so boop boop I want to do them and then do this one so you've got to get the timing right as well so I'm not sure if I'll get a no yeah because there's water uh, you need to kind of time it right so hopefully this one fire in the hole boop. what it exploded I think that should have killed it I think that should have done it oh well fire in the hole boop, boop. Are you kidding me? It didn't even touch the water. This, this, I don't think it likes me. Come on, you can work this time. Come on, aim for me. There you go, that was awesome. Woo! So, we did a bit of damage, but we haven't got the diamond ore, which I will try and do, because why not? Try not to go the extra mile. Because we can, so we might as well. Fire in the hole! Yes! So, it's pretty good and effective if you've got a ton of TNT and flint and seal and stuff like that. And a cake, because cakes are really nice. Um, another thing that I want to show requires me to rebuild my ship. Which shouldn't be too hard, because I can see what it is like on the other side. So, it goes like that. Like that. Doosh. Doosh, doosh. Doosh, doosh. You want to have uh, two of them, and voila, fixed. Oh no, not fixed. <gasps> Hole in the ship. Uh, diamond door, just because we can. Okay, there, there you go. Um, last thing I want to talk about this is paintings, because so far from what I've experienced. I um, think I'm not quite sure. Paintings act as armor plating, kind of. So, basically, what will happen is they'll be destroyed if hit by the TNT or in the shockwave of the TNT. Um, I want a nice painting. Come on, give me a nice painting. Nice painting. Not giving me a portrait. There you go. Um, so, the paintings will kind of act like armour plating from what I've experienced. Hopefully, I was right <laughs> because that would be kind of embarrassing. Um, so, if the TNT explodes in the vicinity it will take out the paintings but leave the ship unscathed but obviously as the paintings will come off you will need to get them back and stick them back on if you want to survive another round so you don't get pummeled by this TNT cannon so let's give it another shot and try and test out my theory so yeah let's see there, perfect. That was excellent. So, as you can see, it blew off the painting but didn't do any damage to the actual ship itself. So, that's another thing. So, if you have uh, any paintings on a ship or paintings to spare, then if you put it on a ship, well, not necessarily a ship, a house, whatever, to protect yourself some from TNT cannons, then that is the way to go because it does exactly that. So... Um, I guess that's the end of this video and of course you can extend this as I was saying earlier so if I just get rid of that and put it over here instead then you can extend it but it doesn't always work kind of fails most of the time actually from my experience don't even know this probably won't work oops uh, let's see okay let's see yeah, it didn't really affect the distance, but you get what so you can you get what I mean. So you can experiment with this, do whatever you want, uh, and go kill some enemies because yes. So that's about it. Uh, I don't know what to, I'm just being a bit weird. I'm gonna break a cactus.
Oh, so that was my video on showing you how to make a TNT cannon in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Much appreciated. Uh, and I'm pixelated, and I bid you all. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I will see you dudes next time. Boo! Donk.